Hey, True Seekers, welcome back. Zach here. This is video post number 666. Hey, I told you I'd tell you about the, the Wall Street and the number 666. Did you know that on March the 6th, 2009, I want you to get that date in your mind. On March the 6th, 2009, the stock market that prior to 2000, prior to that time, you know, had gone up as high as 14,000 on the Dow Jones average. On that date hit a new low. And the, the S&P 500 is a new measure, sort of like the Dow Jones average, that people use to figure out what the stock market is doing. Get this, folks. On March 6, 2009, the stock market hit a low, which turned out to be the, 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 the low, because after that it began to go up. And today, it's around, I think today the S&P 500 average was I think 14, oh, I think 14, around 1450, 1450. But on March the 6th, 2009, it hit a low of, get this, 666. That was the low of the Great Recession that had begun in late 2007, 2008. In 2009, the stock market kept falling, 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 and then when it hit exactly 666, that was the low, and it began to come up from there. Do you think that might have been planned? <laughs> uh-huh. Six, six, six. I think it was done on purpose. The Illuminati, the, the Wall Street Jews did it. This is a ritual number to them. And think of the date, March, the third month of the year. On the sixth day, three sixes. On March the sixth, the stock market, the S&P 500 hit 666 on its averages. March the 6th, the third month, the sixth day, three sixes. And then the year, 2009, 2009. Now, folks, the occult numerologist and the Jewish gematria, that's the, the, the folks that believe in this magical number system of the Jews, worked out by the Jewish Kabbalist, they would multiply the two times the nine. They come up with 18. 18 is derived from six plus six plus six. 18. So two times nine, 2009, equals six, six, six. And of course, there is another occult number that's important, the number 11. 2 plus 9 equals 11. So you can also add it and come up with yet another occult ritual number. Let us begin by acknowledging that if you count to 666, you will have counted 121 prime numbers in doing so. And the reason that's interesting is because Revelation, the 66th book of the Bible, in most versions of the Bible, Revelation has gematria of 121. And it's Revelation verse 13, 18 that speaks of the number 666, which we'll get to. But notice that if you count to 666, there's 121 prime numbers, and it corresponds perfectly with the gematria of Revelation. Also, if you count the first 36 numbers, there are 11 prime numbers. And the reason 1 through 36 is significant is because if you sum 1 through 36, it totals 666, this number we're talking about. Also, of the first 36 numbers, 11 being prime is interesting because 11 is the square root of 121, this number specific to Revelation. Also, if you sum 1 through 11, it totals 66. And again, Revelation is the 66th book of the Bible. The 11th prime number is 31. We'll see how that ties in with the verse in just a minute. 
that speaks of 666. Isn't that interesting? It's pretty interesting. That day's trading had to be controlled, very much controlled. It wasn't just a number that suddenly, bing, the computer, just as the stock market bell rang and things ended for that day, hit 666. It was not unintentional. It was not inadvertent. It was planned. Can you believe, if they can do this, remember there are thousands of stocks on the stock market. There's 500 that are counted for the S&P 500. Wow. Amazing. 